Flu season, it's officially here, and the Virginia Department of Health reported the illness is widespread as of today. It's getting a very late start this year, and 10 on your side, Stephanie Harris tells us that could be bad news for some people. Steph? Yeah, guys, it is all in the timing here. Flu shots usually last four or five months. So let's say you got your shot back here in the beginning of October, say. Well, then we go November, December. January, by the way, this is uh, where flu season typically peaks. Now we're in February, and then by the end of this week, well, that's five months. Your time's up. So what now? Preschoolers are usually among the first to get sick. We've been pretty lucky that we, we seem to be pretty healthy. But keeping these kids flu free through the spring could be a challenge. This is probably the latest start we've had in close to 30 years. Virginia's flu season typically peaks in January or February and runs through March. So does that mean this flu season will run through May or June? Unfortunately, none of us have very good crystal balls to predict influenza. What Dr. Nancy Welch can say with certainty is those waning flu shots you got in the fall or winter will still give you some protection. That is, you may get less sick. Actually getting a flu vaccine now for people who have not received a flu vaccine would probably be a very wise idea. She does not recommend getting a second shot, however. Instead, she advises this protection plan. Cover your coughs and sneezes. Keep things clean. I'm putting bleach on the table. And wash your hands frequently. Get some soap, baby. There you go. Wash them together. Especially before you eat. It's proven to keep germs away and so easy, even a preschooler can do it. Well, now the reason this flu season took so long to get here is likely the weather. It has been very warm, and the flu thrives in cold and low humidity. Also, it allows people to be outside more so we're not all cooped up together sharing our germs. Now, if it stays warm, we may not see a big flu peak. Let's hope. Stephanie Harris, Ted on your side. While reported flu cases are down, health experts say cases of the norovirus or stomach flu, those are up this year.